So now in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at these solderless connectors right there. And uh, so right now, these two wires are electrically connected. This particular one, you just got to uh, screw them down. So the kit that I got, it has uh, this version and uh, this version. Each one of them comes in either uh, two pair like that or uh, three pair like that. And uh, so I'll put a link in the description below of uh, the kit I got. But in case, these hold uh, really well. Of course, this particular one, there's a uh, slot here. So you can use a uh, standard screwdriver, just a single slot, but it kind of loses its grip and it will mar that metal. But in uh, any case, it's pretty straightforward. You just screw it down and a little bolt moves like that. And uh, with a good screwdriver set, it's really not that hard to turn. It's not super easy though, so you gotta hold it well. But in any case, there it goes. It uh, shrinks down. This is 22 wire gauge and a larger uh, wire would uh, be pressed even better. But uh, even with these uh, 22 wire gauge, I can pull as hard as I can. And my finger's sliding on the insulation, probably sliding the insulation off. Now, we also have these uh, just press and release ones. And of course, I wasn't sure how well these would work. And so I'll pull back. I made these in another kit. This is one wire right there. And then you clamp this onto that wire and this is removable. So I did this in an earlier video, but uh, you can attach a third wire whenever you want right there. Uh, pretty nice, but in case for this video, we're just going to uh, take that wire and uh, put it in there. So you just press this, it moves the connector there down and then uh, you release it and we'll uh, do the same on the uh, other side right there so I accidentally pressed this side it slipped out it didn't just slip out on its own I pressed down on that by accident so now we have them and it holds uh, pretty good I'm pulling uh, pretty hard right there so that's uh, that simple right there we can also do a uh, continuity check with the multimeter so now we have the uh, multimeter also these uh, yellow wires I have some uh, wire from a make electronics kit that uh, Radio Shack used to sell and uh, they're still available a little bit but in any case this tool here has a little blade right there and that blade closes down and cuts the wire and then you put the uh, wire on here with the plastic insulation still on there and this closes and then strips that wire off of it uh, for various uh, wire sizes so that's how I made all of this wire here and I did that a lot more in other videos but in any case let's get to the uh, multimeter and looking at checking the uh, conductivity of it so we have the uh, diode tester here and then like a little speaker looking thing so that's the continuity tester and it beeps if you have basically a uh, direct connection so a piece of wire should single piece of wire should beep there should be almost no resistance so there's going to be some plus the uh, probes touching the metal don't make a perfect connection but there you can see it beeped it was practically zero ohms we could also check the uh, resistance so we'll go here and again it's going to beep it's going to be loud so about 0.2 ohms of resistance but that's also me holding them and whatnot and so it's probably even lower a really good electrical connection it looks like so that's the first time I checked the uh, continuity of uh, this unit and uh, this unit right there so looks pretty good I'm overall really happy with them I was worried that uh, these would not be able to tolerate pulling them uh, very much but I am pulling uh, really hard right there so not a surprise with these these you clamp down and uh, whatnot but in any case both of these came from a single kit this also had a uh, two of them next to each other version and uh, this one had the uh, three next to each other version right there and I don't remember them being too expensive I don't remember the price but overall I'm really happy with them so make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't make sure you click the bell so you get updates of all the videos and also 
uh, check out my Patreon post. I could use as many donations as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.